Okay, you guys, um, basically I'm going to be making a video of me cleaning my fish tank. Yes, the big 55 gallon. It's not really that big, but I haven't cleaned it in a long time. I haven't done a water change in what seems like forever. So this will be basically kind of like a how-to or basically just me washing, cleaning my fish tank. Really nothing special. But I decided to make this a little bit of like a video for you guys. Um, tell you guys what I use to clean the fish tank. So let's get started. Um, first off, I am using my Canon camera right now. I will be switching back and forth between my Canon and my um, Sony Cybershot. So hopefully, um, if you guys notice a quality change, that's why. But um, the stuff you will need, if you are like me, you will need a lot of towels. <laughs> because if you're like me, you'll spill stuff. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a full clean on this tank. I'm going to be taking everything out, rinsing off all the decorations, um, gravel vacuuming it, um, cleaning out the full inside of the glass on the tank for all the algae and stuff. Um, again, just doing a good, clean, thorough clean on this fish tank. So what you need, um, you need your siphon. Usually almost everyone has one of these, unless you are fancy and um, you buy a automatic gravel vacuum. This is a quick vac. It takes um, two double A's. You can just pull this part right out, rinse it out. Um, it has a button. It's like 50 something dollars. It works okay, you know, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, I know I just use it for easy purposes. Um, if you don't have a, um, a bucket, if you don't use a bucket, if you use something just like the siphon hose to where um, it can drain out inside of like a sink or you can just fill it up with like um, attaching it to the sink faucet, which is super easy. Um, I forget what they're called, honestly, but I plan on getting one soon. Um, my bathroom so far that I just really don't know if it'll reach. That's why I use a bucket. This is a five gallon bucket and um, I will probably drain about 50% of this water, hopefully. Um, I usually get around halfway. I don't really usually uh, measure everything. So once it's like halfway or whatever, I will start filling it back up. Um, you need stress coat, any sort of calming medicine for your fish, because when you are doing all this to a tank at once, your fish will get very stressed out from swimming back and forth from all of the uh, movement and everything, just um, getting swung around with the debris and stuff, of gravel vacuuming it, you know, it just makes them more stressed. Um, if you have a quarantine tank, of course, you can always um, take them out, but that's probably just gonna put more stress on them, honestly. Um, other than stress coat, siphons, and buckets, you will use the basic stuff. You can use a toothbrush, which you can get in like the crevices of um, rock decorations or if you have coral decorations with like a lot of crevices like um, my decorations have, or you can use good old fashioned sponge. Cheap, easy, and good. So that's all you really need, and of course you guys need towels. Um, I have towels all on the floor, so in case anything drips down, you guys will see um, everything safe as far as carpet. Because if you guys don't know, well, I spilled like 10 gallons of water in my hallway. And my mom really didn't like that, so yeah, that's another reason why I want to get um, the gravel vacuum um, siphon hose that just drinks through your sink. So let's get this started. Let me readjust you guys to where you guys can see the tank fully. Um, I will probably mute this part after this because I will have my fan on. That'll be loud. I will be listening to music, and I don't want to get copyright issues, so I'll probably have to do some boring kind of um, free music online. So as far as that goes, I'm gonna get started with this and let me just reposition you guys, probably like over here somewhere. And then um, once that's ready, then we're good to go. Okay guys, we're getting started now. Um, first off, you want to unplug everything that you have um, in your fish tank that you're gonna be cleaning. So when you, fill the, when you drain the water past a certain level, your filters won't. Um, burn up or anything. Um, as far as that goes, basically unplug everything, remove everything, make it all safe. So guys, let's get started. Good. 
guys notice how quiet it gets? <laughs> I'm going to be removing the LED lights, which are these, on each side. Removing the panels, which you guys probably don't see the actual back of them. They have a lot of disgusting debris right here. So um, I'm just going to put these on the ground where the towels are. And of course, I will clean all of this. You want to start removing your decorations, and I'm going to be moving them to the towel beside me. Just going to put them in this bucket, so in case anything gets, um, starts to drip or anything. Okay, you guys, I'm very sorry. I was taking out, uh, out the water, siphoning out with the bucket in the siphon. And of course, when I'm doing it, I realized, just to check on my camera, I realized that um, it is dead. So I already know that I did not get the actual part of me taking the water out and I was um, charging my battery and I went to use the Sony Cybershot and that camera is completely dead also. So I couldn't record me um, taking the water out or um, filling the tank back up. I took the water out about um, all the way down to there. So um, just filled it up. I have probably maybe like half a bucket left. I usually fill it up past where the water drains out. Um, what I'm going to do is change out the um, filter pegs. I have heard online that it is not actually healthy to change the filter pegs while you do a water change because it can mess up the bacteria. I personally have always done this. Um, I never really heard this until maybe like three months ago. And honestly, never did anything for my fish tank, never um, ruined anything with the bacteria. Uh, I'm not going to recommend it because if something goes wrong with your tank, I don't want to be held responsible. <laughs> so um, do it if you want. I'm not telling you to, but I'm just telling you guys what I do. So I filled everything up. I am going to change the filter pegs and I'm going to be cleaning the aqua clear and I have to rinse off the um, sponge. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to do that and then I'll get right back to you guys. Okay guys, quick thing, I just am starting to take apart the AquaClear. These are your Biomax ball things. You can see all the brown, nasty looking stuff. Oh, that's actually good bacteria. So you never want to rinse these off. If you have an AquaClear, do not rinse this. Even if it looks disgusting, don't touch it. I'm just going to plate this, place that over there. And when you buy an AquaClear filter, usually it will come with carbon. Fairly normal, you have to replace it every so often. I honestly do not know how often you're supposed to replace this. I believe every like month or so, I honestly don't know. It's time for me to throw this one away because I've had it for a long time and I don't want to keep something that's supposed to be thrown away inside my filter. So I'm just going to place it in this bag. And here is the actual sponge. This is your basket, this is the sponge. And instead of having a Marineland filter, sorry, I'm just gonna let that drain. Um, instead of buying these filter pads every single month, basically, and you buy a six pack for like, I believe 20 something dollars, only for six filters. And you know, I, I will give Marineland um, a good review because they actually do excellent um, filtration in tanks. This is a Marineland 350, it works excellent. And before I was getting the AquaClear um, 100, I think, or 110, I was actually planning on getting a Marineland Emperor 400. It did not fit, I measured it, so that's why I got my AquaClear. And plus, it saves more money other than buying um, filter pegs every month. Why not pay a little bit more for a filter? All you have to do is rinse this part out. Simple. And it's not like you have to replace it every single month. So I'm just going to take um, the tops of these filters, I took everything out, and I'm going to rinse these off because they have like this residue like just like that. And I'm going to rinse these off just in um, the outside, like you can really see how bad this is here in the bathroom light. But I'm um, going to rinse this off and squeeze it, um, the top of the aqua clear. 
and then all of this. If you guys ever get this like residue stuff on your filters, um, do you guys know what actually can, um, not cause it, but what cleans it really good? I know I have to use super hot water and like use a toothbrush and try to clean it until it looks really clean. But I'm going to clean this really quick and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, you guys, I have all three of these fish tanks connected on two power strips. And of course I turned everything off because I was um, cleaning the 55. And um, before you turn everything on, you know your filters would drain and everything when you're taking water out. So since you don't want your filters to burn off and you're rushing around trying to get water in them, easy little quick tip, um, most of you guys probably know this, fill it up with water before you start it. So in case um, you turn it on and you have more than one fish tank hooked up, you don't have to be running around filling up um, water inside of like all these filters that you have in all these different fish tanks. So I just filled up the um, 350, the 110, and the, um, I forget what number this is, I think the 150 bio wheel. So yes, this is my mess of wires. And hopefully, everything will turn on. And this is what the tank looks like now. It's very um, dirty. You can see all the stuff just still. So everything's turning on, which is perfect. Um, the 10 gallon starting. So everything's perfect. Um, wow, this thing is a mess. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys could see this in person, there's just so much more debris. If you guys saw how clear it was before I did this. This is messy. <laughs> but, um, I know it looks very, very bad right now. The fish, of course, are stressed out, all, um, freaking out, hiding and everything. And, um, all of this debris in both of the tanks, of course, 55 is worse. But it should go away in a few hours, um and all of the fish that lost their color, like the Binga Sunshine and um, Taiwan Reef, so on, um, they'll be probably fine up by tomorrow. Um, as far as that goes, I am going to add some stress coat right now to all of the tanks. Um, I know all the fish were stressed, so I'm gonna add it in the 55, um, in the 10, which is down there. I'm not gonna add it in the little, um, three gallon because the filter was actually running in that tank. So um, just these two tanks, again, I am very, very sorry for not being able to film me actually doing the water change. Um, you know, I said I had a backup camera and of course my backup camera isn't charged because I never use that camera. And I charged this camera battery um, a couple days ago and it usually holds a charge, but um, I know this video will be kind of long, so Hopefully you guys will be okay with that, and hopefully you guys will understand with the whole um, camera um, mistake and everything on my part. So again, I'm very sorry for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I clean my fish tank, and it usually always turns out like this. Which is very crappy looking. You can see all this just debris and everything. Um, also, that's it. Um, I will probably make an update and unboxing video on Tuesday for you guys when I get the new um, African cichlids. Um, I hope you guys can stay tuned until then. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Okay guys, this is less than one hour later. Um, of course, you know there's still gonna be a little bit more debris, but I just wanted to show you guys that it is not as bad as what it was when I just filled everything up and got done. So, you know, this tank cycles 15 times in one hour. And just to compare like a side view compared to how it was when I first got done, this is looking great. So it'll probably be done probably within like the next hour or within an hour I should say. But just wanted to show you guys what it looks like less than one hour later. So probably, um, like I said, in a few minutes up to an hour, it'll be back up to normal. And that's it. Thanks guys.